hi everyone welcome back to my channel and it is a beautiful day to be alive unless you are my bank account <laughs> all right so if you haven't noticed from the title i am going to be reviewing the gymshark times no the gymshark collaboration with whitney simmons and i as you may or may not as you may or may not know i am like pretty anti gymshark but their launch and like their lead up to it was so their launch was like super it just drew me in and i was like okay i need to get it i'm gonna give it a try and so i bought some stuff and let me tell you 240 dollars later we have four pieces of clothing so whitney was definitely trying to like imitate lululemon and she definitely imitated the prices as well but you know what I'm gonna give this a fair review. We're gonna give it a shot, and we'll we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see where we are on the other side. We're gonna see how this how this goes full circle here. So first, we'll start with like the shipping, which took honestly forever. Everyone was getting all their orders, putting up their YouTube videos, and I was just sitting there like, "Where's mine, though?" Like, okay. And then the website launched three minutes early crashed kicked me off the website i thought i didn't get any clothing and then i was like all right i guess i just saved myself some money i was sitting in class and all of a sudden i get an email that says you have ordered your order is processed and i was just like okay well i guess i'm gonna just spend 300 dollars there right now so that i guess i ordered it and it worked even though i got kicked out of the website but um yeah other than that obviously not winnie's fault Jim Shark, you I don't even know. Gymshark, you should have known better. What the heck are you doing over there in the UK or wherever the heck you are? I don't even know. But, alright, so other than all of that, it came in very good shape. There's no holes, no seams, whatever, flying everywhere. So other than that, let's talk about the actual clothing now. One thing I would like to say, I think it's so cute how she has her logo everywhere, like, hidden a little bit. I wish on the pants that it was somewhere actually on the outside, like it's just on this inside part here, so you can't even see it. Still really cute. That's obviously like her slogan that she always says, which is why I made a joke when I opened this video. <laughs> okay, not funny. Um, let's start with the sports bra. So this was like $50. Oh, what the heck? But, you know, I got it. I mean, maybe because it has metal on it. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. So the back has like this little circle metal thing, which when I first put this on, it was super cold and I noticed it, but now I can't notice it because it's warmed up to my body. It looks like it's coming into a bow, which I think is super cute. And then the front is just like a scoop neck. I got a size small and I'm happy with my choice. I usually am falling out of the sides when I'm wearing a small, but I think I remember her mentioning that she like made it come up more on the sides so that there's no like spillage which props to her for that. I appreciate that. Um, and it comes into like a little seam down the front and this little keyhole peephole thing here, which is super cute. And she was like, oh, if you don't like that, you can just tuck it up. But I'm like, but you can still see it. But you know, that's fine. Uh, so I got this in obviously two colors, this deeper pink color and the beautiful blue color. Those were the two that really stood out to me. So I needed them, obviously. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would say it's definitely not a high-impact sports bra. It's light to medium support. Um, I would not suggest like laying down on this sports bra because the ring will just probably hurt you. But we'll see how that goes in my workouts. I haven't worked out in any of this stuff yet because I saw some videos that they were like super not sweat proof. And I did an RPM class today and that's the sweatiest I ever get. So I was like, I'll save it for tomorrow. We'll, we'll do a leg day or something. We'll do, we'll do something else. Um, so yeah, all right, let's get into these leggings. So these are the star prize $70 leggings. Uh, so they are definitely, as all of their influencers said, they're buttery soft, <laughs> even though obviously they're buttery soft for you, they're free, like God's sake. Um, <laughs> not to be rude, but it's true. Um, so the outside is definitely like brushed, has a brush texture. There's no line up the center, so you don't have to worry about camel toe. Blessings on everybody. 
the biggest problem I had with these leggings was getting them on. It was terrifying. I literally thought every seam was just gonna rip and these little gold bars were just gonna go flying, like hit someone in the eye. But getting these on was absolutely horrible. Like what, I can't even imagine if someone had different proportions than me, like if they had just like one size all the way up, like you wouldn't be able to get these on. It's, I think it's cause the waist is so small. Like I could barely get them over my thighs and I did because I just kind of risked it. I was like, well, they're either going on or they're not. So I just kind of pulled them up slowly, obviously. I didn't want to rip them off, but yeah, that was terrifying. But then when I get them on, they actually, they fit pretty well. And the top, I mean, I think because they're so buttery soft, they don't stay in place that well. I feel like the top is just like rolling down a little bit, even though like, I feel like it shouldn't, you know what I mean? Um, but it has like a super thick waistband, so it's compressive and like sucks everything in, but it sucks everything in and you can't, I mean, maybe I'll never be able to get these leggings off ever again. I'll just have to live in them. But you know what? I'm fine with that. They're pretty cute. They're pretty cute. They are super stretchy. They are not like Lululemon Alliance where those are kind of like more thicker. Like these are thinner and stretchy, if that makes sense. Um, which honestly kind of terrifies me. I feel like if I had like nails, I would just rip right through these things, but that's, that's neither here nor there, okay? Um, and then the back has this cool like laser detailing on it and like whatever. I think that's pretty cool actually. And I'm loving how there's no like Gymshark logos on this. Like it's all about Whitney. Like I think there is one. Oh yeah, down here. But it's super simple because like, bye Gymshark, get out of here. It's all about Whitney, okay? And then the back has like this double V thing to accentuate the booty. Ooh, but I, I mean, I don't find it's like that accentuating. It's all right. Like I've had better, you know, it, it's, it's, it does its job. I mean, if you really hike it up there, maybe it would like give you the two cheeks. But other than that, it's kind of like, it's all right. Eh. Yeah, it looks good, but it's nothing like absolutely fantastic. So I was kind of disappointed with that. I always love when leggings just like make everything better on your butt. You know what I mean? But yeah, I would say these are definitely not cellulite friendly. These are made for just like I don't, like they're not very inclusive if that makes sense they're made for like basically Whitney's body and then like that's it like I would not recommend these if you are like looking for an actual like functional legging that will fit like most people so yeah that's how I feel about that so if you're like on the edge of like deciding if you want these even though I feel like they're sold out but um I would say don't get them if you're like really self-conscious about a lot of things because it'll show everything I think um, with this kind of material, you're seeing it all. It's all coming out to be seen, you know? I'll have to do some squat tests, but I think that they're pretty squat proof. Uh, they seem, like, did, they, I, sh I, I saw a lot of squat tests on their models and stuff like that, and it seemed pretty squat proof. Um, the inside feels like a little bit less brushed. It feels more of like a cooling, like smoother texture. I kind of like that, but I think that's also why that they fall down so easily. But yeah, other than that, I would say these are like the best Gymshark products I've seen in a while because I usually just buy Gymshark, honestly, like goodbye. Uh, but yeah, these were super expensive. I, I mean, I like these sets. These are super cute. They are like staples for your wardrobe. I would, I'd buy them again. I mean, if I didn't have them already, I probably wouldn't buy more colors and I wouldn't buy like the joggers and the sweaters and like the long sleeve shirt because I never wear shirts when I work out. Like this is what I work out in because I get way too sweaty and there's no armpit clearance with those shirts. Like you're just going to get sweat and I sweat, okay? But yeah, the colors are super cute. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really got to say about it. Oh, hi, Wendy. Hi. You like them too? Wait, wait, come up here. Come on. Come on. What? Come on. Hop. Okay, you can't go that way. Hop, hop. Where are you going? Oh, there we go. Yay. Just 
like old times. When you like it, you see it. Yeah. All right, well, I think this concludes this video. You could take from this video whatever you want. These were just my opinions and how I felt about these sets. I like them personally. I think that they look good on my type of body. I like these sets. I'm glad I got them. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to work out on them. I think they're super cute, so that's just my opinion. All right, so don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm having a giveaway on there right now for some gift cards for Able Clothing, so check that out, and don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, obviously. Hopefully it won't be a Gymshark video.